Welcome to Medicine Woman Tarot. This is going to be a general reading for fire sign energies. Please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Father God, in the name of your son, Jesus Christ, help me to give a clear and accurate reading for fire sign energies. If you'd like to make any donations towards my channel, you can find the link in the description section. Just as a side note, with any donation you give, if you choose to, you could ask me a question in the comment section and I will make a tarot video for you answering that question. All right, fire sign energies. I scurry the crystal for you today. And the image that appeared within the crystal for you was a messenger. Now, this came out before for a different sign. Um, it was a messenger, like how they used to appear in the Renaissance with that kind of like almost feathered hat. Now, the messenger was a male and he was leaning against a tree and he was holding a short sword against his uh, torso, like up against it. Now, with the position of the short sword being by his stomach, a stomach can symbolize uh, deceit and treachery. So it's like a bad messenger is kind of like what I'm picking up here. And the other image that appeared right next to the messenger was a dragon's face. And it had its mouth open and was like right in the messenger's face. And the messenger wasn't trying to um, put his sword towards the dragon. It's like he was receiving this message from the dragon. So... How I interpret this is that this messenger is going to be receiving some type of uh, false information, some type of evil information that it's trying to make up like a lie, a false accuser, something slanderous from this demonic energy. And it's coming from a very evil source that this messenger is getting its information from. So let's get into your reading. Lots of cards came out for you today. The first card to come out for you was the judgment card so with the judgment card being here excuse me i'm trying to adjust this lighting bear with me okay with this judgment card coming out this is god you know stepping in and is going to be casting judgment on this individual or individuals that are doing this to you that are trying to cause you some type of stress that are being slanderous and false accusers is what i'm saying so god is going to be making these people receive karma Next card out is Seven of Cups. This person or people are going to be receiving karma for the Seven of Cups energy where, you know, they probably never put you in the position that they were supposed to hold you to. Um, this could be family. This could be friends. You know, take it how it resonates. Work related. It'll apply differently to everyone. But these people put you on the back burner. You know, they always were putting someone or something or situation before you. And they're going to be judged for that. Next card out for you is the Nine of Wands. So with the Nine of Wands being here, this is, you know, your energy or you're in this wounded warrior energy, but, you know, God is still helping you get through every difficulty. He doesn't let you, you know, get defeated by your enemies. Next card out for you is the Knave of Wands. So with the Knave of Wands being here, I feel like this is the energy of that individual in the crystal where you're going to be receiving some type of message. Next card out for you was the hermit card. So whatever this message is, is like puts you or has already put you on hermit mode where you're in this energy of where you're just keeping to yourself. You're keeping your energy to yourself. You know, your body is a temple. You're meditating. You're just trying to stay away from conflict, staying away from people. Next card out for you is the eight of swords because this person has uh, put you in like a mental prison, you know, they or they have tried to, or they have. So, you know, take it how it resonates. So with the Eight of Swords being here, this is like being stuck. This is being trapped. This is mental anguish. This is, you know, anxiety. Next card out for you is the Two of Coins, but balance is going to be coming to you. Solid foundation, solid grounded earth energy here for you. Next card out for you is the Two of Swords. So if you're in this like um, state of mind where you feel torn, where you feel, you know, like torn between something of a situation where you feel like stuck in the middle there, you're going to have a balance because of whatever this person has caused, whatever negativity, there is going to be balance that's going to come in clarity. Next card out is the magician card. So with this magician card being here, I feel like this could be the energy of this messenger or these people um, take it, how it resonates where they're, I feel like they're doing spell work. I feel like with the messenger being here, I'm sorry, the magician, they are manifesting something. They are trying to cause conflict for you. They could even be possibly, like I said, doing spell work. And with them, with that dragon appearing next to the messenger, you know, I feel like they uh, have a demonic influence around them. 
Next card out is the Nine of Swords. They're trying to manifest you having Nine of Swords energy, which is mental torment, sleepless nights, anxiety, not being able to see clearly, being stuck in your thoughts, stuck in your head. They want you in this Nine of Swords energy. That's what they're trying to manifest, whether it's just through their word of mouth or through actual spell work. So I would recommend doing a house washing um, or a spiritual bath. And like I always say, Say your prayers to God for protection, you know, lighting uh, religious candles, incense, and leave your window open a crack to let out any negative energy. Next card out is the King of Cups. This is them. This is their energy. They're very emotional, and they are trying to, like, voice something to you, and it's coming from this, like, very uh, emotional aspect where they're not thinking things clearly. next card out for you is the six of cups so with the six of cups being here this person could be from your past this person could be someone that you grew up with this could be family members you know this could be uh people that you have known all your life you know so take it how it resonates it'll apply differently to everyone next card out for you is the five of swords so these it could be more than one person so with the five of swords being here these are people that are self self-sabotaging you know it's like they don't see the fact that they're going to fall, but they are trying to be uh, very malicious. This is like abusive energy trying to surround you. Next card out for you is the Eight of Cups. So with this Eight of Cups energy, you're leaving behind this negative energy and you're moving forward. You're moving past them. Next card out is the Queen of Coins. You're going to be in this grounded earth energy where you're having financial stability, financial abundance. The Queen of Coins represents being financially independent or being financially taken care of. But regardless, this is a very financial stable increase in your abundance here that is going to be coming your way. Next card out is Star Blanket Transition. So with this card coming out, it's letting you know that um, you could be going through a difficult time right now, but to know that God is with you and that this difficult time will not last long. And so you just think of the blanket as God's, his embrace upon you. Next card out for you is Ginkgo Patience. So this tree is very old and has a symbolism of, you know, age and, you know, being patient. So it's letting you know to be patient, to know that if you're going through a difficult situation right now, or if you feel like things are not progressing the way you want, to know that will change and that, you will receive your goals, whatever it is that you're trying to reach for, just to stay in the moment and accomplish the things that you are able to accomplish. And whatever you're not able to accomplish right now is just not meant to be at this time, but you will receive your goals. Uh, the medicinal benefit of this tree is that it's edible. The nuts of it are edible and it's good for, <clears throat> excuse me, my throat just kind of closed up for a second. Okay. It's uh, good for your memory, hearing, vision, circulation, and it helps with problems of aging. So it has lots of medicinal benefits, you know, that are worth looking into. You know, so all in all, I do see a good reading here for you. Know that your enemies are going to be receiving judgment for the torment they're trying to inflict upon you. And if people do spell work, they don't realize that it will come back threefold upon them. So know that God is going to protect you and protect you from your enemies. And just be patient and know that all things are going to work in God's timing. And all your blessings are going to be coming to you. All right, fire sign energies, if this resonates with you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe.